Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7 and 10! Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch! Ball game! The Indians have won the American League pennant! And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run, still going on the way to take it. people tonight maybe the catch of the year right there the pitch and a high drive hit back into deep right field junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club a high drive into the lower deck and right number 30 touches them all and boy what a father's day gift for senior getting his 500th home run to right field what a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member. Getting ready for baseball under the roof in Houston. Today it's the third and final game in this three-game interleague series between the New York Mets and the Houston Astros. This should be a fun battle to watch, and it'll take place right after this. Lance McCullers will be on the mound for the Strohs. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, this has been a little bit of a mystery. I mean, he really struggles at home. You got the home crowd behind you. You got the mound you're used to pitching on an awful lot. But he hasn't been able to get it together. Maybe this is the game that turns it all around for him at his home ballpark. Coming to the plate now, Jose Reyes. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. The one and two pitch. Flipped out the other way towards short. And one gone. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with Esdrubal Cabrera. He's been the fire starter for this team. Last 10 games, how about an on-base percentage of over 400? As he goes, so goes the team. He's playing great ball and making things happen. And here's the former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And the changeup is way low that time. And there are the umpires assigned to this one calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Well Fillmore is the type of umpire he's going to give you a little in some areas and take away the others. And what I mean by that he's going to call a little wider on the corners but up and down he's going to take that away from you. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now a ball rolls softly to second. Throw in time at first for route number two. Got him third. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Favorable call in there for a strike. Two out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. Springer is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. And now the Astros will go to work for the first time. No score. Jacob DeGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, Matty, we get the opportunity to watch the reigning National League Pitcher of the Month go to work. So obviously, I'm pretty excited to see about how he attacks these hitters. He's shown a lot of confidence on the mound right now, and that confidence can sometimes be a pitcher's greatest weapon. 
Three and zero oh count. Here it comes. Takes a high fastball for a strike. These Mets herald as they take the field here today. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. And Matt, you know, you look at their split right now, but they lost the first game, one to second one. So you're looking at momentum is on their side. That's why I'm kind of leaning towards them here in this third game. Payoff pitch one more time. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Dan Plesak, who are you focused on? Well, look out for Josh Reddick. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. Stepping in, Josh Reddick. Currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. Reddick waiting and now the pitch. Now this pitch sails up and in and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. Well that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that. There's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. So he racks Batting up the first. swinging strikeout Second on the breaking baseball. ball. Josh Reddick okay. becomes out, out number back. two this inning. Here's the second baseman Jose Altuve. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right but that's back into the seats foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. It's quite possible the humidity has finally taken its toll on some of the fans. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, and this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. Here it is on 3 and 0. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Three and one, here it is. Line towards center field. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. He takes the turn and heads for second. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. Right takes the turn at third. He wants it all. And happy birthday as they allow him to cross with the inside the park home run as he catches his breath to reflect on his good fortune. Coming to the plate now, Wilmer Flores. He went deep in the contest last night. And the pitch. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. A curveball that catches the inside corner. That's a high strike on a curveball right there. If he continues to throw that pitch, we won't be mentioning his name very much longer in this game. He's going to have to get that ball down to be effective. Line drive to center field. Springer is there, and he has it for the first down. Well, let's take a look at the Strohs defensively brought to you by the Justice. At second base, Jose Altuve. He's a gold glover. You know why? He always had arm strength, but he didn't always catch the ball consistently. He worked his tail off and became a guy that could catch the ball, and now he can throw it. He's impressive out there. Stepping into the box, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. A changeup over the inside corner. Not too often you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Well, Matt, that's his eighth game with that hit right seven. there. Eight games first in a row he's swinging the bat. We've been okay. watching him over this week just scorching. Now in the box, T.J. Rivera. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Set to deliver on two and one. 
hard hit towards center. Springer is there, two gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Batting eight. Set to get his day started, Matt Reynolds. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. Two one here it is a breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. Well he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Working for the punch out and the offering swing and a miss at a big breaking ball and that's how the inning comes to an end. A run on two hits and they leave one on now to the bottom of the second. The Mets are out on top one to nothing. with the plate Carlos Correa and he really thrives in the batter's box here at home something to keep an eye on in this one the pitch here's a swing and a high pop up drifting toward the third base dugout right He's going to have plenty of room as he puts it away in front of the dugout for the first out of the Nine inning. Bet. All right, time for the Designated majestic hitter. defensive alignment for the Hello. Mets. In this day and age with the analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that stationed standard baseball. Into the box now, Carlos Beltran. Hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. And now a pitch on the way. And this is swung on and missed that time by Beltran, and he's retired here for out number two. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. So striding in, Yulieski Guriel. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. That misses and we're even at two and two. Seems like he's thrown everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. And Ligares will look this one in, and that ends the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. A beautiful day here in the Space City as we're all set for the start of the third inning on the show. Here's Juan Ligares. He's been feeling pretty good about things recently as you see the numbers over his past 10 contests. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do. He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Stepping in now Jose Reyes. And that's finally over for a strike. Four pitches all takes. He's showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Matty. He can do a lot of damage on the base pass with his legs. So there's no reason for him to get overly aggressive if he's not getting anything to handle. That's so difficult to hit. Hard fastball and a nasty curveball. You just have to sit on one or the other and hope he throws the one you're looking for. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Two up, two down on strikes well, in this inning. He looks nine. really sharp out there, guys. Brandon Nimmo. Ready for another chance? Brandon Nimmo, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Look into McCann, the 1-1. One -one. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Hit to short. 
Correa ranges to his left. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets, but they lead it one to nothing. Matt Vaskersian back alongside Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak as the left-handed hitting catcher Brian McCann settles in to start the inning. Here it comes on one and one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. That's to two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks. And now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. Now at the plate, Alex Bregman. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Pitch on the way. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. He's looked great on the bump the first nice. few innings of this game. And I think his ability to change hey. speeds effectively oh, has man. been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strike out there. And I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off of their timing so far. Into the box now. Jake Marisnik. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball from Minute Maid Park right after this. Striding in once again as Drupal Cabrera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Tell you what, that was a nice swing after the sequence, following a fastball to get a changeup, and you foul it off. Pretty good approach. Look out. Okay. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Waiting in the on deck circle is David Wright. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Trying to pick things up where we left off, David Wright. And he might still be a bit winded after the inside the park home run in his first at bat. Now the 0 2 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Well, it looks like he tried to waste one and get him to chase it. He didn't, but you're still sitting pretty. Now you're 1 and 2, and you showed him the high fastball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Woo! Sent on the ground out to second. A step on the bag for one. On to first, and that'll take care of right. A double play. The left fielder, number four. Wilmer Flores. Striding into the box, Wilmer Flores. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he'll just float a change in here now for a strike. Well, I thought with two outs right there in that situation, he probably had the green light 3-0. and Maybe he didn't get it where he wanted or get the pitch he's looking for. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Springer ranging back. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. But they're on top one to nothing. Here's George Springer. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. 
And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, this guy's got good stuff. He held him to no hit for a long time. To get a little dribble to start your offense going, though, that's a positive, believe it or not. Finally in the hit call. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ligaris going back. He's there and records the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging into try it again. Jose Altuve looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Runners going to short. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Well, hit and run right there. The runner the still gets the one. second. The ball doesn't get the outfield, but the hitter gets a base hit. In a sense, it was a successful play, but it's not exactly what they wanted. In now, Carlos Correa. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about oh, seven Ks and we're just in the middle Michigan innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Here's Carlos Beltran. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Matt, this is where I like this guy pitching. First and second, he's got two outs. He's got himself a little bit of a jam, but now he likes to paint the corners. Watch him fight himself out of this situation. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Ball two. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Another try at 2-2. Two -two. And another foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Standing in, Travis Darno. He'll lead it off against Lance McCullers. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. McCann is under it. One down. Now batting. The first Digging base. in for his second at bat. TJ Rivera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. And oh, they won't let him walk that easily as that somehow ruled the strike. 3 and 1 now. Grounder down the line at third. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter number 15, second baseman. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Look into McCann, the 1-1. One -one. And flirting with danger on a changeup that missed high for a ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. His timing looks good right there, Matt. That's falling up after a fastball. He still was able to get a piece of that breaking ball. Hit hard on the ground to second. Altuve fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three, but they hold a one-nothing lead. 
stepping in and ready for another shot. Yulieski Guriel. He leads off from the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Tough slider down low for a strike. Now the pitch. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And that's a fair ball as it'll head for the 326 sign in right. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And oh, look out. Up and in and nearly took his head off. No runs, three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros at this point. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Ligaris. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A changeup over the inside corner. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Swinging a soft liner, and this is taken for the out. So coming to the plate, Jake Marisnik, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. A swing and a miss there, two and two. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Again, he sends it out of play. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for Houston. They trail this one one to nothing. Here's Juan Ligares comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Right over the middle knee high. Well it's been a good outing so far but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think Dan. Yeah it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today and it's really working. And they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer and that's out number one. Well this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because he's over in the other league and it's really showing he's pitching really well right now and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. Standing in now Jose Reyes. And he misses again ball three. That's an interesting pitch right there. Uh, let's see if that throws him off a little bit. He's been on a pretty good roll. He can't let it upset him. Just get back in the groove right here. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. So he's aboard following the one out walk. Now, They're second of the ball game so far as we take a look there at the league leaderboard for team walks this year. And you can see there that they're currently residing in second place in the NL in that category. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Sure enough, there goes Reyes. 
pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Catch made there by Altuve, and there are two gone now. Digging in once again as Rubel Cabrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A runner on first with two away. He's going, he's and there going. goes Reyes. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it's not in time, so Reyes has himself a stolen base. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Full count, three and two. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. And ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. Stepping in and ready for another shot, David Wright comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Spin and a throw back to second. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. In the dirt here. Throw to third. And he is safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. Well, he's just lost complete control of the baseball in this inning. Two walks and now a wild pitch. You know he's talking to himself in his head. And I can't imagine he's saying any real nice things either. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And look out. He has to back away there and then give a little glare out to the mound. It's ball two. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win how games. It? And he's a big part of it right here. That's his third Gilmer, RBI, and they Morris. extend the lead in this ballgame. Here comes the Astros skipper up out of the Houston dugout and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. He'll depart after five and two thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Michael Feliz takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Into the box Wilmer Flores. He gets it hard on the ground to the left. And there's his first base hit in this one. That ball's right in his wheelhouse. You may as well take out a tee, set now the ball batting. right there, and say, hit Not it as right. hard as you can, because that's what he did. Out. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. Into the box now, Travis Darno. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Two down runners at first and second. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base and after a good start to the inning they can't capitalize any further. So two runs on two hits no errors and a couple of men left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mets three and the Astros nothing. Here's George Springer. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Ready on one and two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. High pop-up. Cabrera is there for it. One away. Now batting. 
Digging in to try it again. Josh Reddick, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Set to deal on 2 and 2. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. Gone into the upper deck. A solo home run here for Josh Reddick. Number 17 for him on the season. And the Astros are on the scoreboard. It's now a 3-1 to one ball game. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Stepping in now, Jose Altuve. Swing and a liner. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. He threw first and hustling for second. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. Ready once again, Carlos Correa. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. And a whiff at a good slider that time. One out and a runner on second base. Drilled to first. Rivera brings it in. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. The batter, Ready for 15. another shot now. Just Carlos Beltran. He struck Hello. out twice Beltran. thus far. So we'll see if he can fare any better here. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, and Cabrera bobbles it. And a great job to stick with it as he's able to make the play for the third out. Astros get a run back here on the solo shot. Bottom third of the order, 7-8-9, due up to start the seventh. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Back here at Minute Maid Park in Houston. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Stepping in, T.J. Rivera, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Mm, can't do much with that one. It's 1 and 2. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. I like the call for the two strike changeup. You got to make a better pitch. He got away with one right there. Here it comes. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, well, that's the advantage 15, of getting ahead in the count. Base. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. In now, Matt Reynolds. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. The center fielder number 12. Ready for another chance? Juan Lagares. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Line shot to second, but it's caught and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets as the lead remains three to one.
digging in and looking for more. Yulieski Guriel. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. To two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Bat splinters as this is on the ground to first base. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two. Third baseman, number two. Riding in once again, Bregman. Alex Bregman. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. And when your pitch count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets in any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Here's Jake Marisnik. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Hansel Robles takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. 3 to 1 our score. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Astros leave one. They still trail it here, three to one. Your attention, please. Call to the bullpen the now as Luke Gregerson will take over here on the mound. Luke Gregerson. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. One and one, here it comes. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And the eighth will start with a bang as this should be extra bases. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. When you're leading by one run, you want to do everything you can to add to the lead and give your bullpen a little breathing room. It makes a big difference. So double here goes a long way towards making that a real possibility. Into the box, Brandon Nimmo. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. Let's get me out here. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Now a pickoff play at second. Runners back. Hits are even right now at five aside. Now a spin and another throw back to second, keeping particularly close tabs on him. And now we'll go back to second another time here, being especially careful here. And he misses there for ball four, so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. 
the shortstop of the first team. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. A couple of walks for him thus far. Sacrifice attempt here. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. The third baseman, Here's the five. third baseman, David Wright. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one, our score. That's on the outside corner. Count two and two. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, and it remains second and third, but with two away now. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box now, Wilmer Flores, as he loops under the ball and pops it up. Set and the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Reddick is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Two left for the Mets, but they hang on to a 3 to 1 lead. Here's George Springer. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. Now the pitch. Hit down the line at first. And that's through for a hit. That's just a great baseball play. The pitcher executed his pitch, but the hitter was better. Stayed after. with it, got a ball down, and drove it through. Now so they'll go to the bullpen York, now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Standing in now, Josh Reddick. And this is fouled back and out of play. A pause and the 0 2 on a line to shortstop but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. The second baseman number two. Here's the second baseman Jose Altuve two for three with a double on his line so far. Runner at first here one man out. Now a ball ripped over the head of right down the line it's a fair ball. And this will kick off the wall out near the 315 sign. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. And he just blasts this Better thing down the left field line. I thought it might have been foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good looking swing. Here's Carlos Correa now. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. A.J. Ramos play. will come on now, now and make his 55th appearance Number of the year. A.J. Ramos. Second and third here, one man out. And now on 3-0, and they won't even bother to nibble at the corners as they'll just go ahead and put him aboard here. Now batting, the Tony Kemp hitter. will come on now and pinch run here. 
Here's Carlos Beltran. Yeah, guys, this is clearly one of the bigger at bats of the ball game so far. Yeah, Matt, base is loaded. They're looking to finally get that clutch hit that's kind of been elusive all day. They've had some hits, but they just haven't hit when it matters. And that is through into left as he delivers. It's a base hit. One run is scored. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 3-3 game. Just when it looked like you might be dead and down, here they come back with a big two RBI hit to tie the game here late in the game. I think we're in for an exciting finish. Marwin Gonzalez will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number nine, Marwin Gonzalez. Stepping in now. Yulieski Guriel skied into straightaway right. Waiting on it is Nimmo to gone. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Here's the catcher, Brian McCann. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We've played eight full, and we are all tied at three apiece. Tony Kemp will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Now playing shortstop. Number Chris Davinsky will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Now batting, Travis Darno. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Good idea with the change, but it's two and one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box, T.J. Rivera. And that pitch catches the inside corner. One out, nobody on. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Matt, he's one pitch away from striking out the side. Now, that's a shutdown inning. Your team gets your runs, and then you go back and shut them down. Oh, the changeup executed nicely, and he's still got a ground ball. He got the base 12. hit. He got his ground ball. One, he did everything he wanted to do. Sometimes it just doesn't work out for you. Into the box now. Juan Ligares. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Now the one and two pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three. They weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Here's the two two pitch. Outside and a full count, three and two. A good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run on first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Now the three and two pitch. 
Now a flare out toward right center. Calling for it. Reddick. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets strand one. Score remains tied at three to three. At the plate, Alex Bregman. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at 2 and 2. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Under this is Flores, and Wilmer's got it for the first down. Nori Aoki will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. He pulls this one into right, and the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. Arms pumping. He's hustling for third. And he's going to get there, and quickly the winning run is at third with two away. Two outs at the bottom of the inning right here. Now it looks like they're in a position to maybe win this game. He represents the winning run. Let's see if they can get him home. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He's got a chance to win it here, but with a couple of bases open, they might think about working around him. And he'll take first here on the intentional walk, so make it runners at the corners now with two away. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Jose Altuve. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. A little bouncer. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Ready with another two-strike offering. That's popped up. Now towards short right field. Reynolds is there now to put this one away for the third out as they'll strand that potential go-ahead run at third base. Two left for the Astros. Still tied three to three. Nori Aoki will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Now playing left field. Will Harris takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Number 36. Will. Now at the plate, Jose Reyes. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Well, that pulled him right there. Clearly, he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. Ready to deliver the one and two. And that one stayed up a little high. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Hit hard on the ground to the right. Altuve showing off his range. Throw to first gets him. One out here to lead off the 10th. The right fielder, number In nine. now, Brandon, Brandon Nimmo. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the Astros are going to get a left-hander up and cranking out in the bullpen. One and one, here it is. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Ah! 
Set to deliver on two and one. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Now here it comes. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. The 2 2 one more time. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box scores, but man, that ball is hit hard up the middle. He's going to do well for himself. He stays consistent and keeps that approach. Standing in now as Drupal Cabrera. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Back goes Springer to the track. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here. Two run shot to straight away center. Home run number 15 for him thus far. And it's now five to three. see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way he thought he had it and he might tell you he should have had it but he just couldn't bring it back into the yard sometimes it's a game of inches folks Stepping in now, David Wright. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. Ready with two balls and a strike. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Reddick has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. The left fielder number four. So striding forward now, Wilmer Flores. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Mets 5 and the Astros 3. Jerry Spamilia takes the now ball, looking to make sure this game goes no further. Save situation here in inning number 10. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. He'll lead it off against Jerry's Familia, who'll try to close the door in this one. A 1-1 one -one pitch. And a sinking fastball that stayed a little high, apparently. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, 2-2. Two and two. 
He's set. Here's the 2 2. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Another 2 2 offering. Liner towards second. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. Digging in now, Marwin Gonzalez. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. One and one, here it comes. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. In there, a base hit. Take a look at this again in slow motion. He tracks this thing all the way, gets his hands quickly through the zone, and just rips it down the left field line, just how they draw it up. Into the box, Yulieski Guriel inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Jerry Blevins is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. and winning runs are on here with nobody out and a hard sinker there chopped foul at home plate grounded back up the middle there's one So stepping in, Bregman. Alex Bregman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. A runner moving from third as that speared on the mound. The second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Here's Nori Aoki. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 and 1 pitch. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. On the ground to the right side. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. And we'll have to cancel those dinner reservations, partner. 11th inning coming up, and we are all tied 5-5. Five to five. Tony Sipp takes the mound to start the 11th the Astros, inning. Number 29, Tony Sipp. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Look into McCann, the 1-1. One -one. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Ready with the 1-2. and two. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Now the pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Riding in once again, T.J. Rivera looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. That's on the outer edge, 3 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. And a full count now, three and two. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can 
obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Not too often you see an attack go from 3 and 0 to a strikeout, so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3 0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. Into the box now, Matt Reynolds as he lefts it in the air to right field. Reddick has a read on it, and that retires the side. Mets go down one, two, three. Our score holds at five apiece. Here's George Springer. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. Set. Here's the three one. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. Crowd gets up for the three two. Chopped weakly to the left. One away. Right Digging in once again, Josh Reddick. He was given a free pass via the intentional walk last time. He's set and the one two pitch. Now a little pop up off toward the third base side. And the catch out there made by Wright for out number two. Ready once again, Jose Altuve. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. On to first and that'll mean a 12th inning is in order as this inning is over. One two three go the Astros. This ball game still tied five all. Here's Juan Ligares looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Very high, 2 and 1. The set and the 2 and 1 pitch. Line drive to center field. And call that a nice clean base hit his first of the game. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. The so a runner seven. at first now with nobody out. And the lineup turns Jose over now for Reyes. Jose Reyes. Now the 0-2 pitch. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Ready with another two strike offering. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Well, we've always known this guy was a good hitter. You knew he was going to come out of it eventually. Oh, right. Here's Good another multi-hit game. It's not Brand one game. hit that gets you out of it, but the multi-hit game. Maybe this is the signs of things to come. Now the three and two pitch. Bunt sign still on with two strikes as he puts this one down. And the throw goes to first, so the sacrifice works that time. <laughs> Digging in and looking for more, a dribble Cabrera. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Runners are at second and third with one down. And there's ball four, so the bases are loaded, and we'll see how the infield decides to play it here. Well, tough to say if that was their intention or not, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. A force at every base now, so there are a lot of ways to get out of this. The one and one pitch. Slider stayed too low, ball two. Oh, that was a big pitch right there. That was a swing count for me. Now the pressure's really mounting. You got the bases loaded. He's a tight game right here. He's got to deliver. He's got to throw strikes. As a hitter, you know he's got. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. So a gutsy call well, there as that takes four. some serious stones to call Wilmer the suicide Florida. squeeze this late in the game, but the go-ahead run comes in to score.
And there's the fourth wide one, so they'll go after the next guy with a force at any base here and two men gone. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, would have been a grand slam if he'd straightened it out. Instead, it's a foul ball. A swinging bunt up the third baseline. A barehanded pickup. What a play. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. And now we'll see if what's left of this crowd can rally their troops. Bottom of the 12th inning coming up. The Mets lead this one 6-5. to five. Digging in for his second at-bat, Tony Kemp. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Here's the one and one pitch. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Just got a piece up the line. He's got to hurry. Throw will not be in time. So good hustle there is now the possible tying run is aboard to lead things off here. Number nine, Marwin Gonzalez. In now, Marwin Gonzalez. He grounds it sharply to third. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Down, but not out. That base hit right there, now you move the tie and run in the scoring position. Let's see if they can come up with another clutch hit. Standing in now, Yulieski Gurion in the air now, out to left. And this is taken in shy of the track, but the runner will tag from second. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. We'll see if moving up the third pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go for third, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a hit. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Tying and winning runs on base here with one big out. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Back to first. It's a double play as the tying run will be stranded at third base. And just like that, this ball game is over. A one-run game, 6-5 to five, the final today. Jerry Blevins wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Baskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left nine runs. Ground ball to short. This should end it. Lindor sets. He throws. And the Cleveland Indians of 2016 have set the franchise record with their 14th consecutive win. And oh, baby, did they earn it. Going 19 innings north of the border. You're not kidding. They certainly earned it. That's your comfort, too. And it only took six hours and 13 minutes. One ball and one strike. Fastball punched on the ground. Utley kicks it. Still plenty of time.